then think again because this could kill you. Hi everybody and welcome back today for a food and safety related video, especially if you live near me on Canada's west coast. If you don't know me yet, then hi, I'm Katie Reitzma, your registered holistic nutritionist and the founder of Live It Well Nutrition Incorporated. Today, my daughter will be joining us and that's just part of it sometimes. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be talking with you about the death cap mushroom, how to recognize it and why you need to stay away and avoid foraging it. It is called the death cap for a reason. I know with my son, he's an, a year and a half old, and I've taught him to forage mint and blackberries uh, that grow wild, so I really wouldn't be surprised if he pulled out a wild mushroom and tried to eat it. And actually, in 2016, this exact circumstance happened with a toddler on Vancouver Island, and it claimed the toddler's life. Like, oh, I could not imagine. Oh, there are so many other instances that have occurred giving this death cap mushroom its name, death cap, it kills. Um, in fact, outside of Canada, there were four people who foraged mushrooms and made mushroom soup and they all didn't make it. Um, it didn't originate in Canada though, this mushroom. Um, it, it actually was brought in um, on, on trees when they were brought in to line the urban streets, uh, Vancouver and beyond. Um, they were chestnut trees, English red oak trees, hazelnut trees, and so on. Anyway, this death cap fungus was on the roots of these trees. It wasn't visible and it was impossible to trace, but nonetheless, it was there. And these fungus infected trees were planted in the Fraser Valley, Vancouver, and Vancouver Island. And 50 years later, now it is developing into mushrooms that are sprouting. So they're here. The mushrooms are here. And the BC Drug and Poison Control Center has stated 30 cases from June to August and 15 just last month in September. So just make sure that you're not one of those numbers, please stay safe and just don't risk it. Just don't forage them. Uh, because throughout this mushroom's lifespan, the death cap mushroom actually looks like a bunch of different safe mushrooms. So it's really, really hard to mistake it for what it is. Um, why is it so deadly, this mushroom? You might be wondering. Um, the, the mushroom is deadly because it contains toxins that damage the kidney and the liver. But the symptoms are very confusing because if you haven't realized yet that you ate a toxic mushroom, then you might just think these are regular pains like stomach pain, cramping, vomiting, diarrhea. Um, they might let up for a little while just to return super severe um, about a day and a half later. And the symptoms can become so severe that you reach out for medical help, but by that time, you could have permanent organ damage that you makes you need a, an organ transplant, or it might even result in death, as we explained with that toddler, those four adults, and many others. So I'll quickly tell you how to spot the mushroom and what to do if you do see it in your yard or by the sidewalk, because that is possible too. Um, there are signs to look for, okay? So the death cap mushroom will have gills underneath the cap. Those are those intricate parallel lines under the cap. You'd see this on most mushrooms though. Um, then further down the stem, there's um, a little ring or what's also known as a skirt and it's like a flappy little piece of mushroom. Um, and then lastly, at the bottom of the stem is a cap that um, it's kind of growing out of, like a bulb, and this is usually underground. If you see this or think you see it, then report it to BC's Invasive Species Working Group so they can confirm the sighting and deal with it if that's what it is. Um, they are actually also trying to pinpoint how far this mushroom has spread. So reporting your sighting wherever you are will help them with that too. Um, you'll also be actually helping foragers and dogs maybe that consume mushrooms in that area too. In short though, if you see mushrooms sprouting and think oh, free mushrooms, then think again because this could kill you. I hope you found this video helpful and useful and please feel free to share it with your friends. I know it's quick and I have my daughter in it, but I really felt it was important to share. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. As always friends, 
Live it well because you only live once.